Hey everyone, it's Jess, and today I'm going to be walking you through exactly how I got my Starship prompt to look like my Power Level 10K prompt. This is what my Power Level 10K prompt looks like on iTerm2, and this is what my Starship prompt looks like on my warp.dev terminal. I'm going to be running a lot of commands in this video, so if you want to follow along step by step, then you can go to the blog link in the description of this video, and it will include all the links to the tools I'm using, the CLI commands that I'm running, and even the entire Starship config file for you to just copy paste. Let's get started. The first thing I want to cover are three reasons why you might want to switch over from power level 10k to Starship. For me personally, it's a really easy choice because um, I love warp, I use it as my default terminal, and warp doesn't support power level 10k unfortunately, but it does support Starship, so hence I use Starship. The second reason is that power level 10k only works with the ZSH shell. Starship, on the other hand, works with a bunch of different shells like Bash, uh, Fish, and ZSH. And reason three is that I found Starship to be really customizable and have great documentation. Um, that's not to say that power level 10k is not customizable, but I would say that trying to customize it is definitely very daunting and it's hard to find documentation on what you're trying to do. So now that we have some reasons of why we would want to switch over to Starship, let's set up our Starship configuration. Okay, so here I'm in my warp terminal, and the first thing that we want to do is download Starship by running this command. I'm gonna press yes, and done. Now once that's done, you're gonna wanna open up your .zhrc configuration file. So I'm gonna open up in Vim, but you can open it up in VS Code or whatever uh, code editor that you prefer. I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna press I to insert, and I'm going to paste this line at the bottom of my configuration file. Then I'm gonna press escape and then WQ to write and quit out of the file. Now the next step is I'm going to go to the top right corner here with the warp icon, click it, go to the settings, and then go to features, go to the session uh, section here, and then here where it says honor users custom prompt, I am going to toggle this on. Basically what this means is that instead of using the default warp prompt, it's going to use the Starship prompt that I've now um, set up. Okay, so once you do that, you'll see that the Starship prompt is here, but um, it doesn't look great yet, so we're going to do some stuff to make it look sexy. So to customize Starship to look like power level 10k, you're going to run this command here, and then you're going to edit your starship.toml toml file by running this command. And what I've done is I've uploaded my starship.toml file to my GitHub, so you can go to the link in the blog and basically just copy everything in this file and then you're going to paste it into your Starship config file, then press escape and WQ. And you see now that our prompt looks like fantastic. So to tie this all together, we're going to add a theme that goes along with the color schema of my prompt. So to add my theme, I'm going to CD into my warp themes directory and I'm going to go ahead and create a new theme called coolnight.yaml and then I'm going to go back into my github repository and click on coolnight.yaml, take everything here, copy and paste it into this file that I'm going to write and quit again. Now that I have my coolnight.yaml file in my themes folder, I'm actually going to quit out of warp to allow those changes to take place. Now I'm going to open warp back up. I'm going to go into the top right corner of my terminal, open up settings, go to appearance, and here I'm gonna click here to go to my theme picker, and I'm going to type in the name of the theme that I just created, which is called Cool Night. You'll see that it pops up. I'm going to click on it and press a check mark and bing, bang, boom. Super, super, super sexy terminal customized prompt looking 
thing. So we've finished our configuration of Starship Prompt on Warp. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of uh, Power Level 10K in iTerm 2 and Starship on Warp, just to show you that um, it's pretty much the same thing, maybe a few differences. Okay, so just to clarify, on the left I have iTerm with Power Level 10K, on the right I have Starship with Warp. You see that the first little section is the Apple icon, which just shows that I'm running this on a Mac OS, so that is pretty much just one-to-one. -one. The next thing I have in Warp is the time, so you see I'm filming this at, well, pretty much 1am in the morning. This is a little bit different than Power Level 10K, where you see the time is on the right side of the prompt. I've already stated before that uh, right side prompts are incompatible with warp, which is why I've put it on the left hand side. It doesn't really bother me. I actually like it a little bit more uh, in warp like this, um, so it's just in a different spot. Now the next thing that we have in Starship is the directory um, in this lighter blue background, very very similar to power level 10k. The only uh, configuration I've done here is that one I'm in a repo level directory, so in this case my themes repo, um, I actually will not show the rest of the path, whereas in uh, power level 10k it will show the entire path. But for example, if I were to cd into, I don't know, another directory, um, it would show the entire path here, so not not very different. Okay, and next up we have our git info. So I changed the colors a little bit. I mean, sue me. I, I think it looks better with the yellow on this background. Um, you can feel free to go into the config file and change those uh, colors for yourself. But it basically has all the same information. So we got the git icons here, similar to power level 10k. We have our branch name. And then if I were to go ahead and make, for example, a very quick change, to one of these files, you'll see that this actually shows some status information. So this is saying that this is one change ahead on our test branch. Now the final thing that Power Level 10K has is this green check mark here, which means that the previous command that you've run uh, ran successfully. So for example, if I type in gibberish here, you'll see that this is now red with a uh, X mark here to, to signify that an error has been run in the last command. Now, this is a little bit different looking in Starship. I actually like it a little bit better this way, is that if the previous command ran was successful, then it shows this green arrow mark on the right. And again, if I type some gibberish here, um, it will turn into an X and that's the only big difference. Okay, I think that is it everyone. Um, Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if I missed any big chunks of information. Um, I'm still learning, so be kind and ask a lot of questions. Again, if you want this full setup for yourself, please go to the blog in the link below. It has every piece of information that you would need to do the setup step by step. And with that, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. See ya.